in that's me hi hey guys how's it going i'm back uh we're gonna do as if i ever left <laughs> carly ray jepson ep emotion side b a a very humble likable uh person and a talented uh, enjoyable singer and entertainer as well carly uh struck gold years ago way back in the day of like 2011 or 2012 um, with the hit song Call Me Maybe. And last year, Carly graced us with an album titled Emotion, which was, I think, my favorite pop release of the year. It was definitely within the top three or top two. Um, and for whatever reason, um, this album, even though it was loaded with very catchy and, and pretty um, mid-tempo pop balladry, um, you know, and a lot of very genuine 80s nostalgia that is pulled off a lot better than some of the other people doing it right now. Um, there was a, a major faux pas by listening audiences and by radio stations. You know, this album did not get nearly as much radio play as I think it should have gotten. Um, you know, aside from I Really Like You, there weren't, too, uh, there weren't any songs that became singles, even though so many of these songs, like Run Away With Me and Give Me Love and I Didn't Just Come Here To Dance, all these had potential um, to be radio ready. So as I said, you know, this was an album that I bragged a lot about. You can watch the review for it uh, on my channel. I'll try to include some sort of link um, in the description or in, a, in an annotations box. Um, and I bragged about it and I thought it was really good. And Carly follows up with this EP, Emotion Side B. And Emotion Side B kind of is the perfect filler and the perfect supplement to emotion itself. Emotion was kind of like, you know, the Bible. It's like, wow, this is, this is really good. There's a, there's a lot in here that I love. There's some in here I don't understand, but this is good. I wish I had just a little bit more on some of the stuff that I didn't understand or just a little bit more, not that it's not great. And in comes Emotion Side B, which is essentially the Book of Mormon. And, and now I've got both, and, and now I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm not trying to, to be sacrilegious and say that you know music by a, a, a pop singer is anything comparable to the words of Christ. But that's, I'm just trying to make a comparison. I feel like in 2016, um, there's so much garbage music going on. Um, I was looking for some sort of light, a, a, a ray. Um, of, of light to, to come in and I think this is finally the EP that's done it and this is the first thing that I've been excited about, it's the first thing that's really clicked with me this year. So I want to mention this and um, Anthony Fantano, um, also known as the Needle Drop, also mentioned it on his review of this project but I'm, I'm in total agreement here um, and I'll restate that you know with, with the whole late 70s and 80s nostalgia in music um, and in, in, in art and culture that we're having right now um, I feel like so much of it is done insincerely, and a lot of it's being overly done, um, you know, just to, just because it seems to be the cool thing to do, and just because people want to see if they can do it, um, but I feel like, aside from Walk the Moon, Carly Rae Jepsen is the only other artist that is do, that is not overly doing it, that has a lot of sincerity, and, um, and, um, a genu, genu, genuineness? It's, it's, it's very interesting how Carly pulls this off. It's like, yes, it still has an 80s feel like the other one, but at the same time, the production is very different, and you're getting whole new sounds. More fun sounding, uh, it's a lot brighter sounding for the most part. Uh, the way this thing starts off, this is probably the, the most 80s song on here that you're getting. You're getting, you know, some uh, Madonna and Cindy Lauper kind of, uh, you know, teen girly pop vibes on here. The song sounds like it dropped just essentially from somewhere between like 85 and 86, just just fell from a time capsule onto Carly's album, but it, it, it goes over really well. There's so many elements on the song that contribute to that. You know, Carly Rae Jepsen having a, a higher, more squeaky, clean uh, voice on this, an up-tempo dance song. You know, you've got the reverbed out uh, keyboard cowbells that were very popular in the 80s. You know, those synth hits that sound just very very bright and very, very uh, uh, magical. It's good, and even the way the song starts out is is pretty nifty. You know, it, it sounds like an old frayed tape from the '80s being played, and it plays a bit of the end. And they really did a fantastic job with with pulling the sound effect off. I'm sure it was generated on the computer, but it sounds like it is actually a tape. As far as the spectrum of of topics 
on this compared to emotion itself, um, you know, not much difference here. We're still talking about kind of that, uh, you know, younger adult love. Um, you know, the only difference being <clears throat> with this one, you know, as I mentioned, it little, is a little bit more carefree, it's a little bit more fun, it's a little bit more no strings attached, um, kind of, and it deals with more so of kind of either being stuck in the friend zone or port putting a guy in the friend zone or all that kind of stuff. And this, I feel like the relationship dynamics in this one don't take themselves as seriously as they did in Emotion. If you take a song like Give Me Love on the on, on Emotion, which Carly is saying, I've driven outside your place, I just want you, is that too much to ask? Really begging this guy to give her some love. But then on this Emotion Side B, we have songs like Store and The One, which are basically saying like, nah, bro, I'm good. The One is definitely my favorite song on this whole project. Um, you know, just between the little bouncy um, uh, bass keyboards that take part of the melody on here. We also have this really nice uh, sliding keyboard that almost sounds kind of like a, a cat meowing, and it's, it takes a counter melody. Also, Carly's vocals on this song. She has a very interesting effect. One of the things I mentioned in last year's review of Emotion is that a lot of this, um, she can be kind of whispery at times and it's very uh, it's very seductive in a sense because you feel like she's talking directly to you and just kind of being in your ear and she does that again on the one and where in the chorus she goes to sing loud but then backs off when she says words like hold me tight and she kind of cracks her voice and gets softer and then whispers, it's too much pressure. And uh, she just kind of kind of gets you excited, like, yeah, this is going somewhere. And then she says, no, and just kind of lets you go. And it's like, oh, Carly, Carly, you cold. And it just makes you, it makes you want her, you know, or, you know, not me personally, but you know what I mean. Um, but then we all, you know, as I mentioned, we have a song like The Store, which is definitely the most humorous song on, on the record. Uh, you know, Carly, you know, talking about how am I going to get out of the relationship with this dude? You know, we've kind of, we've kind of, come to a close here, like, there's not really anywhere else to go, and, uh, so Carly just simply bounces happily and bubbly along to the store. Or at least so she says. This is the excuse she's giving a guy. The, the guy's basically like, Carly, where are you going? Oh, nothing. I'm just going out. No, where are you going, babe? I'm just going, babe. I'm going to the store. Don't worry about it. She just straight lies to his face because this EP is still, you know, pretty, I'm not gonna say innocent, but it's, it's a lot more deep and a lot more meaningful in the dynamic of, of these relationships that she's she's portraying in her music. You know, uh, pop music nowadays, especially with female artists, uh, the Ariana Grandes and the Fifth Harmonies um, of, of this world just talk about, hey, let's just jump in bed. Let's just get naked and have sex for the sake of having sex and then bye. Um, and, and, you know, Carly's not about that life. Carly paints these portrayals, and yeah, there's a little hint of staying the night and, and, and you know, being passionate here and there, but she talks about the other things that come along with it. Um, some of the worrying about, uh, are you cheating me? Um, I'm insecure. Or, hey, like, I understand we're, we're friends, and, and this, you know, we did have a thing, but the thing stops now. Fever. Carly, instead of talking about, hey, we're going to do it, she says, look, your love is like a sickness to me. I've been infected with, with the Zika virus that is wanting you, and, and I, I, I can't get rid of it. You want to you wanna take a break? It's, it's not going down like that. I'm, I'm going to steal your bike. And she stole the dude's bike, and she drove all night, and she was so scared. To hear a singer talk about love and, and actually tell a story while they do it in 2016, wow, Christopher Walken moment, wow, this saucy little firecracker took this man's bike, probably a moped, and drove, and she was frightened. There's a few other songs on the album that I won't go too much into depth, you can check them out if you want. We have the song Roses, which is a little bit more of the more somber uh, song on this album, you know, comparing uh, dead love to dead flowers and, and all that fun stuff. We also have the songs Higher in Body Language, which are more synthed out dance songs that are a little bit less memorable, although Body Language does have kind of some 
clever lines in the chorus. I feel like, you know, had you taken some of those tracks off Emotion and, and used these instead, um, Emotion would have been like a flawless album. Um, but this EP in itself was pretty dang good. You know, um, like I said, the 80s thing that she's got going on, on here sounds way more sincere and way more genuine and heartfelt than other artists who are just trying to do it or their songwriters and producers are behind it. Um, you know, and, and Carly's vocals aren't anything that's going to super blow you away. It's not like she has crazy range or crazy vibrato. But for the music she's making and for the story she's telling, it really works and, and, and she pulls it off. Overall for me, this album just gets a, a plain old B. Um, it, it was it was really good. There's a, a few tracks on here I didn't super care for. There's a couple on here that I really love. And then the other ones I, I, I may not be crazy about, but I can definitely appreciate. Um, so yeah, a B. A B, B, B. Um, okay, yeah, there are more reviews coming. <laughs> uh, I promise right now the power is out because of the whole hurricane hitting Tallahassee thing. Um, but yeah, we're working on it. I'm sorry things will be late. And uh, let, let me know what else you guys uh, want to see reviewed. All that fun mishmash of mashed potatoes.